Hello everybody and welcome back to 1.12 Minecraft. And um, today I'm going to be working on building a house. And um, I was I was gonna try and do like uh, what we did in the last series with a floating island. But we don't have very many places that has flat ground. So it's going to be hard to do that. So instead, we're just going to make a house. And then maybe later on, I might decide to try and figure out how to do that. So I think the best place to start building is probably going to be up here. Because um, it's not too far away from spawn. And it's somewhat flat up here. So... I do need to start clearing out and see how much materials do I have. Because I want to make some iron stuff. So let's go ahead and head down here and see what we have for iron. We have 55 pieces of iron. Um, hopefully that's going to be enough. Let's see. Uh, we have food in there. Let's make some sticks. There we go. Let's get some sticks. And then let's make a axe and let's make a shovel as well so we've got a shovel and an axe we can make some TNT uh, let's see what else do we have in here anything can make shears shield um, I can make armor okay so let's go ahead and get the axe and the shovel there we go so let's start clearing out some stuff up here and then hopefully uh, get a house going so I think it's gonna be like a birch and oak um, combined because we've got lots of birch trees and lots of oak trees so I think it's gonna be a combinement of both kind of wood so let's go ahead and get rid of all this dirt and then let's start I mean actually let's start with the wooden tools so those can break and then we'll switch over to the iron ones so let's go ahead and cut down these trees there we go and this looks like there's gonna be plenty of space here to build a house so let's start removing these trees and then start to build the house I don't know how long it's gonna take to finish the house but I remember last time I uh, I made the house um, the house took a while to make so uh, I'm gonna try and get the house done faster this time and maybe I can try and get a furniture command because last time I couldn't find very many furniture commands that were like really good um, so I'm gonna see if I can find any that for 1.12 that could work so let's get some blocks let's see wait did I plant carrots I don't remember if I planted a carrot so I'm gonna plant this carrot let's go put the carrot down that way we've got some more food growing we actually have um, a good amount of food right now do I have a hoe I do have a hoe it's right here okay here we go uh, there we go we've got a carrot growing and I think I'm gonna remove this tree uh, since we're Actually, well, let's keep the tree. Let's keep the tree there. So we've got sugarcane, wheat. Um, let's see, how are those pumpkins or melons? I don't remember. I think those are pumpkins over there. We'll find out when they grow. So let's go ahead and head back up here and start clearing out uh, the area. So I've got um, this tree here that I need to cut down. So let's go ahead and cut this. Let's get up here. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, that will work. Uh, no, it won't. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. So, that one's gone. Let's see, we've got some saplings. Let's see. So, we've got plenty of space. I need to get in here. And then, cut down this tree. Uh, the axe broke. Let's go ahead and get our new axe. And then, get out. Here we go. So, all these trees... I need to remove, and I don't think there's like, um, 
like a command that um, helps remove trees faster. Um, because um, they've, there's so many commands that are that people have made that do a lot of useful things. Let's see what I need. Bread? No, this is bread. This is pork chops. So I do know there is like a mod that cuts down trees. So let's go and head over here. So what kind of an area do we want to clear out here? Let's uh, get rid of some grass. And this tree, we need to remove this one. And then we're going to see how much land we've got to work with. So, uh, what do we have for land here? This is pretty good land. Let me just get rid of some of these pieces of grass. There we go. So, I need to get some more dirt to kind of flat in this area. Or, well, not really flat. And it's already flat. But to make it uh, bigger. So let's go ahead and put some dirt down. Uh, I need to get rid of those trees as well. So let's go ahead and put this dirt. And then I'm going to get rid of these trees over here. And then uh, I want to get some more birch wood uh, for the house as well. So let's go get some birch trees after we get rid of these. There we go. So, what do we have? There's a birch tree here. And then we can go see what other trees there are. So, let's go and get rid of that. So, here's what we've got for space. Um, I think there's plenty of space to build a house. We just need to get rid of some more of these leaves so we can actually see how much space we've actually got. But, uh,. I think we can we can definitely make like um, a basement in here because we're on a mountain or not a mountain a hill, so there's definitely space underground to build. I can maybe do a, a mine as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is off camera I'm gonna find a furniture command uh, for like the inside of the house, and then uh, next episode I can um, probably. Well, I, I don't really know if I'm going to be able to use the the furniture command next episode, but definitely we can get that working at some point. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of this area here. So this seems like a pretty good space for a nice house. Let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of these leaves. There we go. So we do have loads of saplings, which I can go plant. Um, I, I'm going to save the seeds, actually. There's a apple over here that's uh, pretty rare. It's good, it's good to get some apples. Let's go ahead and grab up all these saplings. So that way we can make a tree farm or something if we need to. So let's go ahead and head down here to where our bed is and sleep. Let's go ahead and... Oh. It looks like it's it's dark. Oh! Wheat! Yay! Okay, we got our, we got some wheat. Um, let's see, where should I, okay, I want to, like, extend this farm, but I need more dirt. Uh, where would be a good place to grab some dirt from? Let's see, is there anywhere over here? Let's, uh, let's go to the bed, I'm pretty sure it's dark enough now. If it's not dark enough, then the game's broken. Okay, here we go, where you can finally go to the bed, hopefully, okay, there we go, we we woke up. Um, I think I'm going to do more of the farm on this side. But I kind of want to connect it. And this is only going to be temporary anyway. Because I am going to move it uh, to the up to the house at some point. So I'm just going to put these here for now. And uh, I found out that if you go in here and you go over like this... It says age zero, but the one below it is age four. And I think whenever it gets to age ten is when it grows. So this is age three, age four, age zero, age zero, age three, age three, age five, uh, age two, age one, age zero. So they each have like how long, um, like if I think every time it gets like age 10 it will grow like when the sugarcane when the 
when uh, the bottom sugar cane grows to to age 10, then it'll grow uh, one on top. Then when this one gets to age 10, another one will grow on top until it gets three tall. Because sugar cane can only grow, I think, three tall. Um, and then sometimes you'll find like four tall ones just like randomly out uh, in the open. But um, normally when you grow sugar cane, it only grows to three. So I ran out of space in my chest. But luckily, we have a bigger chest. There we go. Oh. I don't know why it always puts it at the bottom. It'd be easier if it put it at the top. So, let's go get some more birch wood. Let's see. There's uh, plenty of birch trees over here. Uh, let's go cut some. So, I want to go kind of deep in here so it doesn't kind of ruin the way it looks over there. So, let's see. We've got... Is this a cave here? Do we have a, a cave or is it just a little space? Uh, oh, there is a cave. A, a small one. I don't know. Does it go anywhere? I'm not really going to explore it. Uh, looking at it, it doesn't look like it goes very far. So, uh, maybe another time I'll explore that a little bit better. But there really doesn't seem to be much in there. So, let's go ahead and start cutting down some birch trees here. And then I can plant some saplings to get some more growing. And the thing about birch trees is... I think they need a little bit more space to grow, because um, oak trees, I think, are the only trees that will, like, grow next to each other, so all the other ones, you have to give them some space for them to actually grow, otherwise, they won't do anything. So, if you do have, like, a birch sapling, or, uh, like, an oak, um, not, not an oak, like a, a spruce sapling, or jungle uh, it might not grow, and especially dark oak trees. You have to have four st saplings for a dark oak tree to actually grow. So if you only have one dark oak sapling, it's not going to grow. You have to have four of them, and they have to be in a square. Uh, I think that's the only tree in Minecraft that has to have four. I know jungle trees can, they can do four, but they, they also can do one. So that's a... Jungle trees actually have two ways they can grow. They can grow, uh, you can put one sapling, one jungle sapling down and it'll grow, or you can put four down. Four just makes it a bigger tree. One, it, it's big, but it won't be, like, as big as, like, a, a four one. But, um, that's pretty much how trees grow in Minecraft. Like, not all trees can grow, like, with four saplings. Like, if you put four oak saplings, it's not going to grow a super big tree. It's probably going to go grow four little ones. And you can, you can, if you somehow get like four giant, uh, like oak trees, like the oak trees, they can either be like really small, like these trees, like here, or they can be like a big one. So, yeah, like that one over there, I think is a big one. I know the one by the house is a big one. So, those trees have a chance of being. I don't know the percentage of the chance, but I do know they have a chance of being small or big. So I'm trying to space out these uh, burnt saplings so they actually grow. And the best way to probably do, like, when you cut down a tree is to put, like, a sapling, like, where the tree was. Because then it'll, you'll know it will kind of grow there. So if I, like, this tree right here, if I cut this down and then put a sapling here... I know that this tree will probably grow back at some point. Um, it won't grow back because the leaves are here, but when the leaves disappear, it will it'll grow. So let's go ahead and head back to the house and then pick up these saplings. I'm going to put a tree down here. So these will regrow at some point. So let's go ahead and head on back to the house. And now that we've got wood, we should be able to start growing. Oh, look! The sugar cane grew. Let's um let's see um how how the uh the age is. Let's get this so age zero, so these uh must have just grown. Yeah, these are all age zero, so these are new. Let's see what how old are these over here? This one is age six, age three, age four, and age six. So uh this one and that one are both age six, so they should be the first to grow. And if you don't know where I'm seeing the age, it's on the right side at the bottom 
of the thing, it says age, and I think it only works, like, if it's on, like, a plant, um, it has to be, like, a plant that actually grows, uh, like, on these things, they don't grow, well, they're plants, but they don't grow, it's only, like, on sugar cane, or, uh, crops, or anything that you can, like, plant and grow, like, cactus, and just things like that you plant and grow, and trees as well, saplings. Uh, anything that you can plant will give you an age, but you can't, like, put it over a grass block and say, this grass block has been here 130 days or something. So, um, it only does ages for things that grow. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.